Hey everybody, good morning. It's Patty with Get Personal with Patty. Stop leaving the big dreams to the millionaires, right? That is the quote for the Budget Moms paycheck by paycheck. Budgeting paycheck by paycheck, not living paycheck to paycheck. I think once you start realizing that concept that you can actually budget every paycheck and you're not living to each paycheck, that your finances will be better and that your mindset will be better because budgeting is about mindset, getting into a routine, whether it's daily, whether it's every other day. I don't, I don't spend money daily, so I don't have to track daily. In my leverage planner, I do track if I do spend money on a daily basis or I update it in the um, calendar front here for this is the box set so I do do that on a daily basis if I spend money on that day like last night we had takeout um, so the box set I use for my personal income it pays the utilities as well as all the sinking funds allowance for my husband and I uh, now that Grace will be on a two-week vacation from school before summer school starts, there's some money in an envelope for her, for her child care workers. So that's everything that my money gets expended on. And then I also use the Budget by Paycheck workbook for all our joint finances. So last night's dinner came out of the joint account. And then so I went in and I put my little sticker like this, like you see here, in the workbook. So I don't spend money daily. I don't know if people do like for coffees and everything. If you do, that's probably one of the things you have to stop, really, or put it in an envelope and use cash. <clears throat> um, but I do do my weekly check-ins and I try to, you know, uh, give myself money for the week in cash, and then I just keep track of that overall. So let's just look at that weekly check-in. Again, this is the box set, so it's smaller. I got the weekly check-in stickers from Cara Jo Plans. So check her out on Etsy. Um, so this is week three of June. So week two, I have $7 rollover for groceries. I deposited 60 we spent $26. We had um, a lot of stuff in the freezer and pantry. We had a big shop the week before of 93 so we didn't have to spend that much in the second week. So remaining was 41 So that 41 carries over to this week for groceries. And instead of putting $60, i am just going to deposit 40 Because again, we don't need that much. And I don't, you know, we got the, budget, the butcher block, butcher box. Um, for meats and chickens, so we don't need meats this week. <clears throat> so we'll have $81 of groceries to use. I'm figuring we'll be around the 60 mark. M you know, maybe less, but I always try to say a little higher. So we'll even have, and if we don't, that's okay. We have 81 to spend. If we s you spend it all, that's okay. But I don't, I don't think we're going to be there. And then um, for me personally, I did take out some cash. <clears throat> earlier in the week so I gave myself a budget of $50 this week <clears throat> I don't know why because <clears throat> I haven't really been buying coffee or anything I tend to sometimes give myself a little extra money and then I use it on household or something else anyways but I just take it out of personal so then for dine out we last week we had $10 rolled over we put in 40, so we had a total of 50. We used 47, and this is cash only. If you've watched some of my videos, you know that I just want to use cash for dine out, but sometimes we do, you know, unfortunately use the, the debit card, which I really don't want to. So last week we had $3 left over. That got carried down here. So I am putting in a little extra money in our dine out this week because we're doing dinner out tonight, just appetizers, and then tomorrow we're having friends over and getting a couple clam boils. <clears throat> so just kind of figuring in for that. So we'll have 93, and then Sunday's our usual uh, breakfast out. <clears throat> so we had dinner out uh, 
last night? Yeah, last night was 32. Tonight, we're just going to go for a couple appetizers, which that will probably be about 30 to 40. Then tomorrow, so yeah, we're going to be tapped out by the end of next week for sure. <clears throat> and then house cleaner, I'm not budgeting anything. And then unbudgeted, we just keep that there. So unbudgeted last week, we didn't do anything unbudgeted. And then BJ's. We budgeted 180, we spent 187, not bad. And then childcare, I just added that, um, but that actually gets reimbursed. So we did receive some money this week for reimbursements. And I'm actually just tracking that separately um, as I have to. And I just kind of want to know where I'm spending that reimbursable money for, for Grace. So I'm not going to show that on the video, but some of these figures has a little bit of money in there for reimbursement of child care that I had in April or May. All right, so let's get to the check. So this week's check looks like this. My rollover cushion in my account is 170 My check this week um, with a little bit of overtime was 425.11. So that includes $50 that's automatically transferred for these three automatic transfer that take place, plus 100 that goes automatically in the joint account, again, that we use the budget by paycheck workbook for that account. So um, then my check account balance was 1319. So I do put the rollover cushion in here, but right away I take it out down here. My goal is to get to $200 for the cushion, which obviously now 170 plus I put an additional 20 in there this week is 190 so by the end of June I'll have a $200 rollover cushion and then I'm just not going to count it for July and August because $200 in a cushion is plenty I should be able to budget my whole paycheck without including that money I'll put it in here so I know it's here but I don't put it in my check and I in my check tra um, checking account <clears throat> um, you know, your, what's that thing called? You know, your checkbook register, my register, goodness gracious. Um, I just don't put a running total. I do, I do, but I don't. Okay, so I, in my checkbook register, I just write it as 20 a week. And for the month, you know, for the month, I'll know it in here and in there, it's going to be $200. So then in July, I just... I just pretend I don't have it in my check register because if it's if I see an extra two hundred dollars in my check register, it's going to give me that mindset that oh I have to spend it, and that's the whole point not to spend it. Okay, I hope you got that. So um, this week was my gas and electric that I paid. So my gas bill was twenty eight fifty eight. I paid that electric. I put a hundred dollars on that. Now originally I had budgeted only fifty. And then I got overzealous and I paid it without looking at my book. So, and that's okay. I had it in there. So I had, um, I paid $100 on the electric bill. So that totals $318 with $289.72 left. And then here we go with my sinking funds. Every week, every month is a priority of my sinking funds and my envelopes. These are my envelopes. These are my sinking fund, fund goals. <clears throat> sinking, full, sinking funds means savings. Saving a little bit every week for something or to put toward a bigger purchase or just to have challenge yourself. Some of these are just challenges. Just to challenge. At the end of the year, I'll take the challenges and deposit in my savings account and or uh, the May monthly challenge, which is, I explain every video is like, it was $10 in January, $20 in February, March was 30, etc., etc. I will use those monthly challenges to help pay for Christmas at the end of the year, which is about $780 if you add it all up. So this week, groceries is always in my envelope. I always you try to use, I always use cash envelope for my groceries. Every once in a while, I forgot a debit card. I forgot my cash a couple weeks ago. I had to use a debit card, but that's very rare. I really use my cash. So instead of 60 this week, I'm going to put in 40. So personally, I took out $20 of cash. I'm not going to take out anything in dining. Is that right? Because in the weekly check-in, it says 90. So where is that coming from? 
Oh. Could be up coming from the... Okay, well, we'll have to figure that out. Maybe, let's see. If I go here, dine out. Nope. Yeah, so it must be coming from the other money. And that's fine. Okay, so then my husband will get $25. I did purchase some Etsy stickers. So that was $18.18 and then $8.84. Trying to keep track of my personal spending cashless. Because it's it's Etsy and you have to do it via debit card. You obviously can't send them money. So those total envelopes equals one twelve oh two, which leaves a leftover of one seventy seven seventy, which is then dropped down here. So I'm not putting anything in Gracie's birthday, uh, my or the sinking fund, the two sinking funds that I had to go yet. Th just this week, not happening. Zero um O. Oh, for P O O L is my word of the month, so I'm putting fifteen dollars for O. My May challenge, I owe forty six, so I'm putting that forty six in, and that will be a complete. And then June challenge is fifty dollars, so I'm putting twenty five in this week, and I'll put twenty five in next week. Pet envelope is zero, and then my automatic transfers are Alley Christmas fund and my emergency fund, and that totals fifty five. So the total sinking funds this week is 141, which leaves a balance of 3670. Not much, but that's okay. That's what it's there for. And again, it's 3670, but remember I have that cushion that I'm not using. So nothing extra in credit card payments. This is my little slip that I take to the bank and tell them, you know, how much money I want in what denominations. And really that's it. So then I just did do the reimbursement page here and so I can keep track of where I'm taking money out. So I do see that here I did take out 60 for dine out. So I need to actually change that. I don't want to get confused. So on that weekly on that <clears throat> weekly check-in. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's because it's gonna be I'm taking 30 from the joint. So 60, so I wanna say 60 from here, and then I wanna take out 30 from joint funds. So I do have 90 to play with, plus the three is 93, and that way. Yeah, joint, G, J, T. Uh, I don't know what that means, J, T. Okay, so that's my weekly paycheck, and um, I hope you, are doing well with your budget this month so right so this is for next week I already have it kind of started automatic stuff my rollover cushion I'll know I know what that is and then I, I can even just put cushion because I know next week I'll take out 10 so I budget 10 but I have 190 so I have to make sure I did deduct the total 200 and that's my cushion. And then one last step in the paycheck bill tracker is my expense tracker, which is um, already filled out for this week. And there you have it. By doing this daily or doing this weekly with my paycheck, I find it just gives me a mindset for the weekend and where we're spending our money. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you can see all of my videos when they come up. And we'll be talking to you soon. Good luck with your budget. It's 618. We're halfway there to the end of the month. And every day is a new day for a new mindset. Remembering that we have big dreams and they're not all for millionaires.